Hello everyone and welcome to another awesome installment of Gamer U with Disney Infinity. Today we're going to help you create a race track. We're going to do a really simple one, but after this video today, you are going to be a master at making your own tracks and you'll be all set to get out there in toy box mode and have some fun. I'm going to use Vanellope to help me out with making my track since she is the racing queen and we are going to get started. Hey buddy, you ready for some serious playtime? The first thing you're going to make sure you do is unlock the racetrack start item. Uh, to do this, you'll just have to create a Disney hub on your toy box mode map. You'll just place that in any corner of the map that we have some extra space for your racetracks. Walk on over to the yellow icon, which is gonna be for the vault and use your spins and, and shuffle through all the different items that pop up on your screen till you actually find the one that you need. It's gonna look a little bit like this. And once you see that, you'll make sure you have at least 16 spins available and then go ahead and uh, give it a shot. Try to unlock all the items. Uh, once I've gotten that item, I actually do see some other racetrack pieces uh, in that set of items, so I'm going to keep using my spins till I unlock everything. Now once you've got it all, now you can start by placing that piece on the toy box mode uh, grassy plane there as I'm doing right now. And once that's all set, I'm also going to grab the uh, long track piece and start connecting things to create my track. At least for this first video, I'm going to go with something really simple. I'm just going to have two long straights with uh, four curves, two on each side. So I'm going to put my first curve here, as you can see there, and then place a medium uh, track piece in between the curves to give you a, a small little straight. And then I'll put the other ones on the other side as well. So now once I've got everything all set up and even for the track, you're going to want to make sure that as you're connecting the pieces, you see one piece light up and be yellow and the other one light up and still be blue. And that's going to let you know that you're connecting them correctly and they're completely connected so that you're not going to have any problems once the race is created. All right, now that we've got the full race created, at least the track, we're gonna, gonna wanna go in and create uh, some creative environmental pieces. We're gonna wanna put figures, buildings, anything to liven up the track and give it some personality. As you can see, I've got some pretty cool swampy trees here. I've got some nice tall ones and some short ones. And then I'm gonna throw in some buildings from The Incredibles. Perfect, now that everything is all set up, we've got the tire tracks on the outside, we've got all the little different personality pieces that we've added on, like the trees and the buildings, now you can create your race. So go on and pick a car out of your toy box and set it on the map and then drive on to the race queue. Once you start the race, you'll see that Disney Infinity creates some extra racers for you to go up against so you're not going to be alone. And you're going to have two laps to race around. So make sure that you go through this step. That way you can make sure that the race track actually works. If that icon does not pop up, then you know that the track pieces weren't correctly aligned. Now that I'm in the race, I'm going to show these guys who this true speed master really is. But I hope this video helped you. As you can see, the race is created. It works well. It's got tons of decorations and personality. And so you can tell there's tons of stuff to do in Disney Infinity. Good luck and have a good day.